Our senses are starting to tingle about the next Spider-Man movie. Last month, Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures made every superhero fan's wildest dreams come true by announcing that they've struck a deal to partner on a new Spider-Man movie. A new version of the Web Slinger will get his own film in 2017, and before that, he'll debut in one of the upcoming Marvel Universe movies, possibly 2016's Captain America Civil War. This means Sony has scrapped their plans for the Amazing Spider-Man series, and Andrew Garfield will not be back in the role. There's no word yet on who will replace him, but I've sent them my headshot. Virtual reality won't be coming to the PS4 this year. Sony has revealed that their VR headset Project Morpheus will launch in the first half of 2016. It's designed to bring an immersive VR experience to the console, which means you'll never have to leave your house, ever. Sony hasn't said how much it will cost, but we do know that it will have an HD display that will run games at 120 frames per second. Other new VR devices like the Oculus Rift are expected to hit stores around the same time. Over on the Xbox One, Microsoft is showing indie developers some love. They've announced a slate of new titles for the console, including the space adventure Elite Dangerous, the post-apocalyptic RPG Wasteland 2, and the hit retro game Shovel Knight. All of them are being released as part of Microsoft's ID at Xbox initiative, which began after many independent game makers complained that the Xbox was less welcoming than rival platforms. Here to help me talk through some of these hot rundown topics is my buddy Marissa Roberto. A uh, few questions for you, yep. Victor Lucas. Let's discuss this whole indie dev frustration with Microsoft thing because I've been on the Twitters and I've been noticing some folks like Brian Provinciano, the guy that made Retro City Rampage, yeah. he said some things. Yeah, I think what happened is Microsoft was uh, sort of the, the, the company that led the charge with indie development mm -hmm. and gave them a real platform with Xbox Live. Super Meat Boy became such a smash success, for example. Yeah. But then they had these policies in place that were a little restrictive and they didn't change and everybody else started to get in on the game no pun intended steam and playstation and even nintendo right. and so now i think they're really trying to address some of the uh, sort of restrictions that they've had mm -hmm. and that whole big event that they had at gdc was a big coming out party for okay. that so i think we've got a lot it's to be excited news, yeah i think so absolutely another big deal at gdc obviously was vr we talked about the morpheus what do you think about this uh, this uh, VR onslaught that's hit our world. I'm just concerned about having this solitary experience, and I have already game alone, and yeah. this is going to make me. Um, I just don't have that many friends when I game, and I feel like this is going to make me stay at home even more and I, stay silent and not reach out. I, I, I'm a little freaked out about it too. I can't wait to experience it, but I just feel like we could show the same footage of somebody in a VR thing <laughs> over and over again, and it's just it's just so weird, but I can't wait to play, especially if they make an awesome Spider-Man game <laughs> in VR, because Spider-Man is definitely coming back in a big way I in the cinematic that. universe, you know? So it'd be cool if they were thinking along those lines. Imagine okay. that. Okay, I know you're awesome. really excited about that. I am. But why? Aren't you? Don't you feel like it's too soon? But he's an incredibly important character. He's my second favorite superhero. It's Batman and then Spider-Man. Oh, Batman's your first? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. And I just want this to be handled properly with legs. And, uh, you know, an actor that I think would be good for Peter Parker if they go that way uh, would be Logan Lerman. I, I'm behind that guy. I think he's very talented. All right, that's cool. I like yeah. the fact that he is going to be in high school. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it's not going to be an origin story. That's Me too. fantastic. Uh, I just feel like I, I've gotten a lot of Spidey in lately, and I just want to take a little break. I just want to see him with all those heroes, especially battling with Iron Man in the in the Spider-Man first movie that they're going to do. I can't, I can't wait for that. But well, that's enough rundown talk. You know we can keep talking about this stuff, and we do on our mm -hmm. podcast, Vic's Basement. Oh, that's good, wholesome fun, mm -hmm. but you know what is not wholesome at all? Hotline Miami, too. <laughs>